So what does it mean to start strong and finish strong in writing? It's really very simple, as simple as one, two, three. Start strong. To start strong, you say what happens. You use a subject and a verb and an object. He went to the pub, subject, verb, object, to see his friends. Another way you start strong is you set up the situation. You provide the world of the story. So, after work, he went to the pub. So what does it mean to finish strong? Well, you conclude the thought. And so in the end, after going to the pub and meeting friends, he called it a night. Another way to finish strong is to offer a tantalizing image or question. And so we see, after going to the pub, he realized who his real friends were. So what about the middle? What happens in the middle? Well, two things. First of all, there's a bridge. You show the steps from the beginning to the end, one by one, and then, and then, and then, and then. So he went to the pub, ate fish and chips, drank beer, played darts, and had a great time. So you're just giving all the steps that get you from the beginning to the end. It's a sequence of moments. Also in the middle, you can use brackets or attributions or background information. According to, this background information gives you additional information that you might not need to know, but is oftentimes very useful to have anyway. 